The music of Eric Zahn by Chicago composer Raymond Wilding White, who describes it as a gothic tale after H.P. Lovecraft for violin and tape. The violinist is Chicagoan Eugene Gratovich. Here is The Music of Eric Zahn by Raymond Wilding White. This is a personal memoir. alone, for I know that names change. On the contrary, I have delved deeply into all of the antiquities of the place. find the house, the street, or even the locality I knew as the Rue de Zee. That I cannot find it is both singular and perplexing for it was within a half hour's walk of the university where I was an impoverished student of metaphysics. Those last months, I have never met a person who has seen that Rue d'Ose where I first heard the music of Eric Zahn. Ponderous dark stone bridge. Thank you. 
river of evil stenches. A river bordered by blear window warehouses. The smoke of factories shut out the sun. Beyond the bridge were narrow, cobbled streets inhabited by the peculiar, the old, and the people of the night. From this half-world of tall, peak-roofed houses there came an ascent, at first gradual, but then increasingly steep. Here on this rise was the Rue d'Ozeu itself. It wasn't so much a street as a cliff, often merely a flight of stairs bordered by incredibly old houses and ending in a lofty ivy wall.
The third house from the end was the tallest of all, with a single gabled window in its garret, the only point on the street overlooking the wall. In this tottering, almost empty house, I became the only inhabitant of its dingy fifth floor. Above me, in the garret, lived an old, mute German violinist who played evenings in a cheap theatre orchestra. There it was that every night I heard and was haunted by the music of Eric Zahn. One night I intercepted Zahn in the hallway and I asked him 
Pray, could I come up? Could I be with you when you play? Grudgingly, he led me up the dark and rickety stairs. <laughs> The walls of his garret had never known faster, and the dust and the cobwebs made it look deserted. An iron bedstead, a dingy washstand, a small table. Music rack and some old chairs completed the furniture. Motioning me to sit, he removed his violin from its moth eaten covering and then played strains that must have been of his own devising. To me, they seemed a kind of few, but with none the haunting notes I had overheard from my room below. down his bow, I asked him to render some of those strains I had listened to the nights before. Bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -ba. I hummed. His face grew suddenly distorted, and he cast a startled glance at the window. Crossing to the table, he scribbled a note written in the labored language of a foreigner. his expense, I moved to the third floor, out of sight and sound.
held a fascination for me, accompanied by a curious desire to look out of the window, over the walls, and down at the glistening spires and roofs below. So, I was left to tiptoe up to the garret to listen to a music that filled me with undefinable dread. Music, which as time passed, grew into pandemonium. A wild Hungarian dance where the shrieking violin swelled into a chaotic babel of sounds. After that cry of inarticulate anguish, I knocked on the door and heard him slam the shutters and stumble to the door to admit me. Shaking pathetically, the old man forced me into a chair. Then, crossing to the table, he wrote a brief note and handed it to me. of 
blue and the sheets piled up to no avail. I saw him start up as from a shock. He was looking at the window and listening. I fancied I heard a distant musical note. Dropping his pencil, he seized his violin and started to rend the night with his playing. like a monkey. No city spread below, no lights from remembered streets, only the blackness of unimagined space alive with motion. Recall stumbling blindly to the door and leaping, floating, flying down the stairs. I recall running mindlessly into the street. Thank you. 
recall panting across that dark bridge. I recall that river of evil stenches. Despite my most careful researches and investigations, I have never since been able to find the Rue d'Ozeuil. Music of Eric Zahn, a gothic tale after H.P. Lovecraft for violin and tape, by Raymond Wilding White. The violinist, Eugene Gratovich. Voice parts recorded by Raymond Wilding White, narrator, and by Michael Bavell, countertenor. The broadcast produced by Raymond Wilding White and Larry Rock.